So uh, enjoy the view. Um, that was one that really did stem. Um, I love to be outdoors. I love to be outside. I love to climb a mountain. I love to do anything, you know, anything that I can be outside. I love that. And so enjoying the view is something I, I'm, I'm always into that. But in my life, um, I feel like I've have always been geared toward the goal. Like, um, I'm looking at the finish line and so I don't look at anything around me till I get to the finish line. That's how I've been my whole life. And looking back now, I don't have a lot of memories of things, especially like high school and stuff like that, that a lot of people talk about all the fun things they did. I'm like, no, I was set to come to Nashville. That's all I could think about was getting to Nashville. So I missed a lot of stuff because I was so focused on getting there. And I think that trip on Route 66 really made me realize like, that's why you don't, that's why you don't have memories because yeah. You're missing the day to day. I think a pandemic will force everybody to take a look at the view. Absolutely. Because you know? uh, for one thing, you can't go through life the way you had been up to that point. So, right. uh, yeah, you got to stop and take a look around and, and it's just, what am I doing with my life? And, yeah. and uh, reprioritize stuff. It, exactly. It was, it was huge for me. I, I uh, Before the pandemic, I've, I've been very. Uh, goal oriented also and I and I always have stayed really busy as a musician mm -hmm. or whatever and I and I just thought you know it made me realize I was staying really busy and a lot of the stuff that I was staying busy doing wasn't really stuff that I was throwing my passion into mm -hmm. I was just doing it right. and I've pretty well stopped doing that now because of this it's made me realize you know if if I'm not going to be passionate about it I don't know that I need to be doing it, you know. I, I the best stuff happens when you're able to completely throw your passion into. The other stuff is just contrived, and uh, I'm just speaking musically. And uh, so I, I've been a little bit more select, or a lot more selective about what I play on, mm -hmm. what uh, I produce, what my name is attached to. I just want to make sure that I'm pouring my heart and soul and passion into whatever I'm involved in. Absolutely, life's too short. Yeah, it's and too short. It, to that not. will help you enjoy the view. It you know, will. It when really will. When you got and, the passion flowing. Yeah, and I think, you know, especially through this process that that we've been going through for the last year, I haven't made it a point to really remember and to go, don't forget this. Mm -hmm. Don't forget this. Write mm -hmm. this down. Don't forget it. And that, to me, has been wonderful. Even to look back on just two or three months ago and look back at some of the stuff I've written down going, oh yeah, that too. And that, and yeah, and that was such a great moment, you know? And so it's, it, it's just, yeah, that song, that song means an awful lot to me. And we got two special guest vocalists on it. That's right. Larry Cordell and Carl Jackson, oh my gosh. legendary singer songwriters yes. in Nashville. And they were gracious enough to Doing lend their vo voices on it. Fantastic harmony vocals. Like yeah. it's so, and it's so, you just know it's them the minute they start. It's like, oh, they're, yeah. they're just so good. And it was, and it's it was a very cool. stripped down track. Janae Fleener mm -hmm. is playing on it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, me yeah. and I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's I it. I think that's it. It's yep. very stripped down, but yep. it's and again, that's an influence. It's that mm -hmm. roots, that kind of almost bluegrassy mm -hmm. kind of feel, you know. And it's every song, you know, comes from something that is inspiring to me. And and the musicianship on that, and just having those guys sing, it's just mm -hmm. it's it's fantastic. 